May I first of all say a big thank you to uh, colleagues from other nations who've made such generous remarks uh, this afternoon. But I have to say, you know, Britain always sat somewhat uneasily in the European Union. Uh, a common market is indeed what many thought they joined rather than a project for political integration. The advance of the EU juggernaut through Monet's small steps was sometimes hardly noticed as national borders were eroded and more policy areas became EU competences, so British and disenchantment intensified. Not surprisingly, as we hear, the answer to every problem is more Europe. And we even hear this from colleagues from the left in the British political setup. Friday will mark the beginning of a new relationship between Britain and the European Union. The negotiation this year of a free trade agreement and other arrangements should be seen as an opportunity, not a confrontation. It's in the interests of both the EU and the UK for a good agreement negotiated with goodwill and flexibility based on precedent to be concluded in friendship and before the end of the year. Britain will still be a European power, the leading European power in NATO, committed to the security of the democracies of the European continent, sharing many of the standpoints and aspirations of the nations of Europe, an independent sovereign country with friendly relations with the EU. That's our aim. Madam President, may I just say on a personal note, I spent 30 years as a British Army officer and now 20 years representing uh, Britain in this European Parliament. I've enjoyed my work, and I want to say a big thank you to all colleagues here and to the officials and personal staff that I've worked with over the years. Thank you, and farewell. Thank you, Madam Anderson, for two minutes.